As a half border collie, half Aussie dog mom, I thought I had it all planned and all figured out when we got Mochi. And to be honest, I do feel like I was totally prepared for this active dog owner life. But there is one huge regret slash mistake that I wanted to share with all of you to help out anyone that has or is about to have a high energy dog. Mochi's. So we always hear about needing time and money when you get a dog, regardless of high energy, whatever. And that's totally true. You need to be able to commit a few hours every day for physical and mental exercise. And money is a necessity for all dogs because you're gonna wanna get high ingredient food, toys, all that kind of stuff. And most importantly, healthcare and unexpected expenses. All of that I had figured out before we got Mochi. But the one regret I have is that I thought that apartment living would be perfectly fine with my emoji. And I thought it would be just as easy as if I had my own house with a yard. And I've come to figure out that that's not so true. Now, I'm definitely not saying in this video that if you have an apartment, you can't get a high energy dog. Definitely not. I think mochi in an apartment has a better life than a lot of people with a house and yard, but it's definitely something you really want to think about long and hard so that you can make the proper adjustments to make sure apartment living works for you and your high energy dog. So this was kind of a mistake, I would say, on my part for being naive, but now let's get into the more important part of this video. Why is this such a challenge and how did I pretty much overcome this challenge? So there's only a few reasons why apartment living is kind of hard and extra hard for high energy dog owners, and I will say it's not easy. And make sure to stick around because I'm going to go over how I over came and combated all these challenges. The first downside of apartment living with a high energy dog is kind of obvious is that you don't have your own yard and arguably high energy dogs need a yard much more than let's say a smaller dog like a Frenchie. Yes, you can walk your dog forever on a leash outside, but having your own yard is just like such a game changer because you, you can safely let your dog off leash while still following leash laws without the risk of other random people slash dogs coming to bother your dog. And you don't have to travel to get somewhere where you can go off leash. For example, if I wanna go off leash with Mochi now as an apartment, person, we either have to drive somewhere or walk like an hour just to get to the area that lets us off leash. And even then it's like not ideal because Mochi's pretty reactive around, especially male dogs. And even if we're in a leash allowed area, off leash male dogs run up to Mochi all the time. It's just not a pleasant experience. And with a yard, you know, for example, Mochi could stay outside all day if he really wanted to. And with a higher energy dog, this is so important to have that outlet. The second challenge and arguably maybe the hardest challenge for us is territorial behavior. The issue I've seen in Mochi as well as pretty much any apartment dog I've ever met is that the dog starts to believe that the entire apartment building is their own and it's their territory. This becomes a nightmare when you're just trying to leave the apartment building or you're just trying to come back home because for example mochi goes berserk every time we have to pass someone in our narrow hallway unless it's someone that mochi personally knows and the thing is why i mentioned this with high energy dogs is that high energy dogs are more likely to be reactive um, if you look at the most prone reactive dog breeds it's going to be like german shepherd border collie australian shepherd it's all these high energy dogs and combine that with territorial behavior over an entire apartment building and narrow hallways is just an awful recipe for disaster thirdly a small ish apartment can have the same constraining effect as a small fenced in yard. So researchers and dog behavioralists have found that dogs in a small backyard with like a fence around it can make the dog feel claustrophobic, trapped, and make them go a little bit crazy. Our apartment definitely isn't tiny, but I can kind of see that when we go to, for example, my boyfriend's parents' house with Mochi, which is a nice big house, Mochi just seems more calm and relaxed, even with the same amount of exercise he's getting. And here he sometimes has a harder time settling in. So those three are the most prominent challenges I've seen in Mochi um, while we live in this apartment, but it doesn't mean I haven't overcome them in really strategic methods. So the first challenge I mentioned has to do with a lack of a yard. To overcome this one has been the hardest because you can't just like buy a yard somewhere, but it has been possible. The first thing to do to overcome this is I got a long leash so that Mochi can run around pretty much anywhere there's not that many other people and dogs and it has the same freedom of being off leash but with the security and minimal risk by keeping him on that long leash. This has been amazing because it does give the opportunity for Mochi to run around and kind of act off leash and I've even found some MC fields near here where we could play a little bit of fetch while he stays on that long leash. Of course this isn't the same as a yard but it comes close and Mochi seems really happy with it. The second challenge to overcome was again the territorial behavior. This one is super difficult to overcome but one thing that has helped in huge strides is to introduce Mochi to our neighbors. This one won't work if your dog is aggressive, but if your dog is just reactive like Mochi and he lunges, but when he gets close, he doesn't like snap or do anything. He's actually super friendly. It's 
amazing because for example we introduced mochi to like the neighbors that live on our floor and now when he sees them he doesn't react at all because he almost sees them as like comrades in his his apartment and they will feel less threatened if they know this person to be like a nice friendly person also for this issue i've done a ton of counter conditioning and desensitization which has helped more than anything for more on this check out our video links in the description and i'll go over more of like counter conditioning and desensitization thirdly with the feeling of being trapped in a small space i try to deal with this challenge in a few ways for example keeping our balcony door open all the time we have a really spacious balcony and mochi really likes it out there so by letting him go out into like an open air balcony I think it really helps with him feel like he has more space and again for helping Mochi feel calm and relaxed while he's home I do a ton of physical and mental exercise probably more than I would need to if I had a big house and a yard um but this just goes a long way and especially with high energy dogs they really need this physical and mental outlet. And we also have done like dog sports with Mochi, all these types of excursions to help them feel more tired and relaxed at home. And of course, the most important way I'm dealing with this challenge and I'm kind of overcoming this guilt of having a high energy dog in an apartment is to save to get a house with a big yard. Not everybody wants a house in a yard, I totally get that. And not every high energy dog is gonna be happier in a house than an apartment. And to be completely honest, Mochi is perfectly content here, but I really just want to give him that life with a big house, big yard that he deserves. So my boyfriend and I are working extra hard in our daily lives, not only making this kind of content, but also in like our jobs. And I really hope to share the news that we got a house here very soon. Let's hope. But for now, check out our reactive dog 101 video linked here on the screen.